Akuma, what is for you the definition mm -hmm. of a classic bar versus a more modern one? For me, classic is very, very important. My father is a hotel man in Japan. When I was 20 years old, um, I went to his hotel bar, very authentic, classic cocktail bar. And I drink their like, signature cocktails. I feel, oh, this is a history. My name is Karina Soto Velasquez, and today I'm talking to Takuma Watanabe, a very well-known bartender and bar owner in New York City. With his classic Japanese bartending background, he has seduced Manhattan to create a ground encounter between classic cocktails and modern techniques. What will be a Japanese technique mm -hmm. that is being exported basically to the world in modern cocktail bartending? I think it's carving ice. When I started bartender when I was 20, the first thing to do is a carving the ice. Ice cup for the uh, stirring, shaking, and also diamond cut and the bowl ice. That's your bar back mise en place, yes. number one. Yeah. Every day, every day, ice is always friend. Mm -hmm. So you can touch and then you can feel it and then you cut it. It's, it's interesting how today in the Western world, it took us so long to actually start appreciating mm -hmm. ice. And tell me, today, you have two venues. Mm -hmm. What is the grand encounter you find between your teams? Now I have a new bar and they are much younger generations. So I have to teach them like, you know, little by little as a classic first and then our signature. If you cannot make uh, the great classic cocktail, so you cannot develop the like twist of cocktail. So it sounds that you are combining classic cocktails with modern techniques. I'm trying to see like, you know, something new. Also, I don't want to forget like basic classic stuff. When I was 30 years old, they don't have any like milk fat wash, oil fat wash or butter fat wash. They had it, but uh, it was no normal. But nowadays, very classic. So some of my team can create the new generation of the cocktail. Can you tell us a little bit about your Grand Encounter cocktail? This is a martini to us. It's called uh, uh, Orangettini. It's inspired from the uh, Orangetta, which is the uh, uh, dry dehydrated orange, and dip in the chocolate, and I eat. Do you know the snack? I love that. Amazing. It's one of my favorite things. So first, this is uh, the Earl Grey with the gin infused a couple days. And with the tea, it's the Grand Marnier is the best combination. 20 ml. And dry vermouth. And touch of cacao. 10 ml. Then facial bitters. Two dash. Wow, the colors there look really nice. Orange peel and side of chocolate crunch. That's really beautiful. I'm really excited. It smells delicious. I wouldn't be disappointed if you tell me the twist of a martini because mm -hmm. it has that bone structure. Still dry. You have the orange of, and the cognac. Actually, somehow the cognac comes back. I don't know mm -hmm. if it's the cacao that makes that, but it's really, really delicious. Very balanced. Thank you. Thank you very much.